Welcome back, everyone. Gormulan Archer here. Time for some more... Subnautica. So we have gotten through... We found another um, transport area thing, thingamajigger here. And we'll deal with that in a second, but... Um, I would like to first explore this place. I don't think there's going to be anything here. Because our experience in the past has been that there is nothing in these places. Other than... Uh, um, other than the teleporters. But, I want to look around. Just to check. And then I think we're going to go actually go back to the... Back to our, our base, which is about a K away. Which is not so bad. Um, and then, once we've done that... I'll come back here. And we'll go back into the base... I have found out, sadly, that the blue uh, artifacts, there is only one, and if you don't scan it, like I didn't scan it, you're SOL when it comes to um, trying to get into that one place if you've used it already, unless you use console commands, which is probably what I'm going to do. But I think that last, I think that will be the absolute final time that I use a console command. I have intentions of actually, uh... See, once you pick them up, you don't seem to be able to drop them is the thing. Can I put this here? No? See? I think that was the problem. I didn't scan it before I picked it up, and once you don't scan it before you pick it up, it's just like, you're just out of luck. But I'm gonna go see if I can scan the blue one in the activation cradle where it is which I don't think is gonna work but we'll go check it out at least um, and then once we do that I'll go I'll give myself a blue artifact oh we'll go back to our base I wanna get some food and water and stuff and bring the sea moth over to this one entry area And then, since that probably won't work, we'll, we'll give ourselves one more blue artifact, and that'll be the end of our... Yep, because it's locked down now. Yep. Yep, that'll be the end of our... console command shenanigans. I will, in fact, make remake the prawn the old-fashioned way, because it's the right thing to do. And although most of you have said you don't mind in the fact that I'm not doing it properly, I still feel bad. I come out of this one? Can't remember if I came out of this one or not. Nope. Although I suppose we could go out this one. Why not? I kind of want to activate them all eventually anyway, so let's go this way. This looks different. What are you? Unscannable is what you are. 14, uh, so we're about the same distance away from where we were before. It's almost always those guys in here. Although this looks like we're in the, the Lost Sea or Lost River or whatever it's called. Lost River, I think. Which means that we're not going to be able to leave out this direction. Oh, yep, that hurts. We'll check it out first. Yeah, we're at 622 meters. Yeah, we're pretty far down there. Let's grab this since we're here. Alright, yeah. Can't leave out of this one. Go back to the other one. Let's keep my water up, even if my food's going down. Yeah. Oh, don't mind me, guys. Don't want any trouble. So it definitely wasn't this one. Yep, 
Here we go. Oh, don't mind me. All right, I'm gonna need to write down the uh, the coordinates, I guess, of this opening because we don't have a way of leaving a beacon here at the moment. Although that is one of the things I would like to do. This feels like the one I was at before. That used to lead to the other place, the um, the blaster zone. Alright, so let's see, let's get our coordinates here. Not this, this. We are at, where are we? Camera world position, is that right? Yeah. Alright, so we are at negative 80, negative 291, negative 1348. All right. Good enough. All right, let's close that. And let's go home. I honestly think they redirected that teleporter. I feel like this is the exact same place we were before with that other teleporter. What do I know? I don't remember things very well. A bunch of bone sharks around here, I gotta be careful. Cause that beacon is the floating island, right? Yeah, we're behind the... yeah, this is somewhere close. To, it might not be the same place, but it's close. We have successfully returned home. Let's change our batteries and a bunch of our equipment here. Get some food, then we can head back. Oh, we should make some be beacons too, that's one other thing we need to do. Alright, let me pull out all these batteries. Uh, this guy first. Alright, doing much better now. I suppose we should uh, actually process this bit here. Okay, what do we need for beacons? I don't remember. Beacon, copper wire plus titanium. Alright, we got titanium. Need me some copper. There we go. Bunch of copper. I would like to make multiple beacons. We have, I think, three or four different places to, to go through. I would like to have three or four different places to go. Ion battery. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright. Let's just make the beacons right away here. One beacon. Two beacon. Three beacon. Let's dump our junk off here. This, this, don't need this. Let's take some more of this water. Yep. All right, we're good to go. Take the Seamoth over to that place. Because why the hell not? It's over in the. Generally speaking, in this direction. I followed. I mostly followed the. Uh, the. The thermal power lines most of the way back. Although I think if that thing was, that thing was, yeah, it was below 200 meters, so we're not going to actually take this all the way down, but we'll get close. At least speed the process up a little bit. Alright, so there's the thing, so we were kind of went this direction. Ah, gotcha. You thought you had me, but I got you. Alright, so let me get a, get a beacon here. Yeah, 
There you go, little guy. Edit label. Teleport. Um, containment. There we go. Teleport containment. Got it. Alright, so we're gonna go back inside, back to the containment facility. Um, I guess we'll jump back out to the Lost River and drop another beacon at the Lost River. Um, and then we'll activate the last of the teleporters. Check that out, and then I'll cheat in our blue keycard, and we'll go check out that bit. That's the plan. All right, so next beacon. Out you go, buddy. Where's your label? There you are. You are teleport lost river containment. All right, so I don't remember what's in this middle one. Might be another teleporter. No, it's the light. it's the egg chamber. I remember now. Egg central. Wait, I th didn't I scan this? Apparently not. Alien reliquary. This case contains highly sophisticated nanobots capable of infiltrating a foreign body and deconstructing it from the inside. That sounds uncomfortable. Greetings. Here we go, another teleporter. Like 241 meters deep. Thought we were underwater for a second there. This is different. See if there's anything we can do with those. Why do we see? It's like we're seeing through the ceiling. That's weird. Whoops. I don't know where we are, so I can't really name this. like mushroom forests. We're just gonna call this forest, I think. Alright, where's your label? Alright, so Tela Forest <coughs> Contain. Alright. So it's the teleport from the forest to containment. Alright, good good. I don't know why it seems like we can see through the ceiling. It looks like maybe that was a graphical glitch because that lighting, uh, that lighting effect as if we were underwater seems to have gone away. So this isn't anything, these guys? This seems new. Different than the others. Nothing around back here. Okay. Apparently these are just light up like Pong games. Okay, so I'm going to get myself a blue artifact. Um, and then we will go through the blue artifact door. See what there is to see. Since apparently there's no way to find them anymore. Uh, that seems like a design mistake, if you're asking me. But nobody's asking me. So we'll be right back in a second. 
All right, so we've got a blue artifact now. Let's run. <clears throat> I hate doing that. But since you can't drop them once you pick them up, like if I needed another orange one, I'd be out of luck too, because I can't seem to drop this. Like, like it won't let me drop it. Yeah, it won't let me drop it, and I didn't scan it before I picked it up. So, I don't know. I don't know what's supposed to happen there. Translate the warning. Vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatch hatching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. All right, so what do we got here? Big pool. Let's not go in the pool just yet. Apparently the precursors have much larger feet than I do. Yeah, how do you get up there? Do I need a prawn? Do I need a prawn to jump up there? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Always at the roadblocks. Alright, let's look in the pool. Random alien pool. What could possibly go wrong? Alright, so there's random fish in here. What is that noise? Oh, hello. Okay, I don't know what to do with you. I'll play with you, but I don't know how to play with you. Let's get some air, real quick. Before we try and play with a uh, strange creature. Um, what just hurt me? Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate location supports diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Environmental scans indicate water here rich in rare plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Oh, hello. That's so where all the peepers are going, coming and going from? Apparently, yes. Data downloads. Pipe access. Alright, I can't look at that right now. Oh, don't mind me. Alright, let's look at that. Now that we're here. Um, pipe access. Where are you, pipe access? There it is. This appears to be one of the endpoints of the alien piping system, transporting fresh water from the surface into the containment facility. Peepers are using the pipe network to travel to and from the surface. Behavior must be explained by evolutionary adaption to extreme circumstances. All right, do we have any more? We do have another fuel crystal, okay. Oh, a teleporter. Um, not going in there just yet. I'm not done down here. Oh, there's a fuel crystal right here. Don't don't mess with me. Wonder if I can give that creature peepers. 
might be a, a way to play with it. There's like a hole down there too, I should go check that out. I want to see if I can give this thing a peeper first. Also, what is glowing over here? What is this? Uh -huh, whatever it was, it just disappeared. Want a peeper? Crazy creature thingy. How do I get in your face? I gotta get in front of this thing. Oh, no. Yeah. Alright. She probably doesn't want a peeper, anyways. Oh, there's a, uh. There's a teleporter here that's buried. You can hear its its uh, activation thing trying to trying to activate. Oh, hello, what do we have down here? Um, I'll come back to that in just a second. Let me get uh, some air first. Oh, hello. Oh, was that teleporter teleport me there? Well, now I have to check that out. I don't know why I keep getting that little bit of heat. Alright, so I gotta check this thing out. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but... One thing at a time, right? That just put us up here. I guess it's just a way out of there, in case you can't find your way out. Okay. Let's drink some. Whoop! Yep, yep, there we go. Let's drink some water. Food's getting a little low. I don't have my like cooking knife and it cooks stuff when I cut it all right so step one we're gonna go down here see if there's anything down here there's another crystal Varied plant life in this area means growing outside of its normal biome conditions. Presence of other life forms fertilizing and pruning the vegetation offset this environmental deficit. What is that? Gabe's feather. Can I have it? No. Right, so there's that. There's that platform. Alright, let's put a crystal in here and find out what happens. We're running low on food, so we gotta get moving here. So, that said a thing about hatching enzymes. 
How we get hatching enzymes is a, another story altogether. Stop hurting me. Alright. Okay, so I think there's, there may be more to see down here, but with my health, with my food situation the way it is, I don't think I can wait around any longer. So I'm going to get us out of here for now, um, and we'll come back. I still need to get the Cyclops back at some point, but I think I'm going to just use the teleporters to get back to the surface and head back to our normal, normal things that way. And uh, this seems like as good a place to any to stop. I'll pick this game back up next time. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later.